H dip dip powder set. I got this from Amazon. This was about $40, like $39.99. And um, I really like it. This was the one that I've been using. It's more like nudish colors, as you can see, like pinkies and all this stuff for my hair. Pinks and different stuff like that. This one is like hot pinks, hot purple. So I'm excited to try this one. Um, I have for dip. You have to take it off each time. So I have, I just bought these, it was really exciting. I was using the aluminum foil method before and um, it works, but it is tedious. So I'm excited to try these to see oops, if these really work. Um, have my acetone pads, file buff, um, wow, buffer file, dip brush. And I was even thinking of trying to do um jewels that's a little extreme i'm a little nervous but we'll see and i have my um drill i have an electric drill i also got this from amazon too that was about 60 dollars um so yeah these are all my materials for this dip powder set so let's see how this goes okay so I start by buffing. Mm. Now you have to do this either with a buff or with a um, like a, a nail file. That's just to get the shine off of it. So I have one hand down. Now my, <laughs> I'm right-handed, so doing my left hand sometimes, doing my right hand, sorry. Doing my right hand sometimes can be a struggle, but I think we will be okay. have my nails set up so I can soak them off. So this is kind of like what my setup just looks like. I break up half of a um, cotton ball and um, make sure you can see. Half of a cotton ball and I'm gonna put them in here with acetone. So I'm about to do that and I'll be back in a second to start hopefully taking them off because sometimes it takes a minute for them to soak so that the powder starts coming off. So let's hope that this is quick because I hate waiting, okay? Okay, so I'm a little impatient. So I'm gonna see if these started soaking. This, um, I'm started soaking my left hand. I can't do both at the same time. It just literally just won't work. So it's, it wasn't really soaking that long. I probably will have to re-soak it off, but I hate waiting. So this probably soaked for maybe like four minutes or so. The other ones are gonna probably be better. But literally you just do this. Um, I'm team e-file. I think it's so much faster than a uh, regular file. Um, it is a little tricky to get a hang of. You will nick yourself as they say. But once you kind of get it down, it's definitely worth it. So I'm just gonna try and buffer as much off as I can on this nail, even though I know it didn't really soak for that long. So yeah, Whew, they're kind of burnt. So yeah, I'm just gonna do, try and do the same thing for each of the nails on this left hand. Um, try to figure out if I'm gonna show you the right because it literally is the same exact process and that's just going to make the video really long but we'll see and yeah let's see if we can get this off so we can do this dip this is me also kind of rushing because um i have something to do a little later and um trying to be swift with the hand so let's hope i don't uh, let's hope i don't actually embarrass myself Thank you. 
Um, also too, you really wanna try and go horizontal. That's how you're gonna get most of um, the stuff to come off. Only thing I hate about the cotton balls, which makes me kind of want to switch to cotton, like, tabs, is, um, sometimes, well, not sometimes, a lot of the time, the cotton ball, when you're trying to pull it off, gives you, like, this weird, like, little excess stuff, and, um, It's no fun. So yeah, so you want to make sure you try and go horizontal because that's going to really give you, it's really going to try and peel off most of it versus going, um, Okay, so the doing my right hand really kicked my behind. I don't know, I was just going slow. It just took a little longer, but I am done. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut, shape, file, so I can get them ready to do the dip. And um, I'm not sure if y'all wanna see that. That's like a psh kind of process, like, Oh, file, file. I am using, um, this is my buffer. I'm using, I'm using a buffer box, I guess I'm gonna call it. And this is the um, file that I'm using. I'm gonna clean all this up and then I'm back. We're gonna dip because I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put y'all through filing and buffing because the point of this video is for the dip powder, not for the file and the buff. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get to dipping. Now, so now we are at the most exciting part. So in the beginning, I have put that I'm using the GH, make sure that's in there, the GH um, dip. I got this from Amazon. This was $40, like $39.99, which I thought wasn't bad. And I used this kind before. It had like nudes, it was like a nude version. The one that I have now, it's a pinky version. And um, I'm excited because I get some more colors. Um, these are the steps, the base activator, top coat, and the brush cleaner. Um, and we'll I'll show you how to use each one and the technique that I use because my technique might be different than someone else's technique. And I think I'm gonna go with this, this color. It's called Lovely Peach Puff. Oh wait, no. Do I want that color? So Lovely Peach Puff, let's see. I want something bright. I'm doing this for my birthday. This is bright, wow. Okay. So maybe we will do Lovely Peach Puff. This is the size of the bottle. Um, looks kind of small but that's okay because i think you can get a lot out of these even though this looks small and plus you have one two three you have six so switch it up and you know you won't use out the colors and if so then you get another one so i'm gonna go with lovely peach puff i don't even know what this one looks like let's see My nails are so soft, I can't even. Get into it. That's the other thing about dip, it's like your nails. Well, just like if you take like acrylics off, they just be soft. Oh, this is bright too. Now I'm like, what's the difference? So these are the two. I don't know which one I like better. I'm gonna assume that this one's gonna be really bright, so I think I still will go with this. 
Um, I think I'm still gonna go with that one. Save that one for another time. So yeah, put that back. Um, another thing about this set is it comes with the directions, which is really good because if you have no idea what you're doing, this is awesome. And then two, I like it because it tells you exactly how to use this set. Like if you go on YouTube and you look up how to do dip powders, like you wanna know the one, you wanna know how to do the one that you bought. So I like this. And that's what I basically have been doing. So now I'm going to pop out the four steps that I will need. To get this dip going um, so I'm gonna just set these up I'm gonna set up my dryer I'm going to set up my dryer because um, this is what I use to got this from Amazon too it's a UV light um, even though that this set says that you don't need to a dryer I have always used this and liked how my results came out using this so I'm gonna plug this in and then we will get started dipping oh also you're gonna need a powder brush once you dip your nail into the thing you need to be able to dip um, get the excess away and that I will show you that as well don't worry don't worry I really hope I like this color because if not, I will be embarrassing myself because I will, I have no problem with taking it off and picking another color. So I think what I'm going to do for the purpose of this, I'm going to try one finger first and then just to make sure I like the color because like I said, these are for my birthday and um, I need these to look cute. Okay. So we have the base coat now different people have different techniques and um, the technique that I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the three layer technique but I'm gonna do it I don't know the word for it but like different layers at different points of the nail um, so you're gonna take the dip so the technique I'm gonna do I'm gonna maybe go like a fourth of my nail and I'm going to put it on let me tell you why I'm doing this technique I'm doing it like this because when you do the whole nail three times because you want the strength of it too when you do the whole nail three times it makes the bottom where your cuticle is thick and when that's thick when it starts to grow out it's easier for stuff to get in there so that's why I'm doing this technique. So you literally, you're gonna go like on a 45 degree angle. You're gonna dip your finger in, hold it a little bit, and you're gonna bring your finger out. You can even tap it a little bit. And then you brush off. I didn't realize I went so high. So, um, but this looks like a good color think I'm gonna like it so I'm gonna do that again this time I am going to go a little higher basically to the cuticle a little before the cuticle and we're gonna dip that in again and we're gonna take out and we're gonna tap. And then we're gonna brush. All right? This one makes your hand really pink. Now I'm basically trying to get all the way to the cuticle. I want to get as much as the nail as possible because this will be my last dip.
Okay. So I got my three dips in. This looks not that neat. And that's okay because um, I could have made it a little, um, I could have started less down, which is okay. But there's a buffing method that I'm gonna use with the drill and the buffer that's gonna basically even this one out. So I'm gonna, I like the color, I'm gonna stick with the color. So I'm gonna do it with the rest of the nails now. So I guess to answer some questions while I do it, is this hard? I wouldn't say, and I'm gonna let that sit on there. I wouldn't say that this is hard. I feel like if you can paint your nails, you can do this. You wanna to try to make this as even as possible. I'm gonna brush it off on the end. Sometimes I like to let it stick on so that it like dries completely, but for the first nail purpose, that's why I did that. But um, you're gonna see, we're gonna do this three times. And um, I like to do I like to do one hand at a time like I don't like to do all ten fingers in the first round just cuz I like to just see a finished product if that makes sense well, not really finished, but yeah. So if you can't see, if you can see, I did the one and the rest of them have my first step. So now I'm gonna brush that off. So it kind of looks like I have tips. The point of it is because you want your bottoms again to be thicker than I lost my hair and thought you want your bottoms like you want your tips to be thicker than your cuticle area because you don't want it to grow weird in your cuticle area so now I'm gonna do the second layer so I want to do in the second coat so the second one we're gonna go up basically a lot higher you're almost to the cuticle but not quite and you want to get all the parts try to be as neat as possible I'm gonna go ahead and dip, baby, dip. dipped up we are all dipped up dipped out we are pinky pinky cute okay so i'm going to do my other hand with the three-step method, and then um, I will show you how I buff down. I'll show you how I buff so I can get the nail ready basically for the top coat, and then we are done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my other hand, and we ready to go. So, I'm gonna close this for now to clean that. So, like I said, you want a flat nail. So sometimes, like the first one that I did, it wasn't that flat. So I'm going to buff it to 
basically how I want it to look. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to buff it first. And then I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to e-file it first. And then I'm going to buff it as well. Now the e-file is a little extreme for new people and that's fine. If you want to just use the buffer and the um, regular file, you can do that too. I'd like to do a, um, like, you know, kind of like a squarish type of look. use my buffer so this is to kind of just make sure you get everything even it's even all around try to get any blemishes imperfections out that's what this is for all right so step two everything is done on my hands um, step two is the activator you literally are just putting this on each nail you don't even have to be, I'm not even super like precise when it comes to this. It's nothing that really plays a major role. You just wanna make sure you hit every part of the nail. So sometimes I even go over, cause I'm like, I want all of this, cause you want all of it to activate during the top coat. So yeah, I'm not even super precise when it comes to the activator. Just activate. With the top coat, you're gonna put it on each nail and you're gonna dry it. I'm gonna dry for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna put it on again. The directions say don't let the top coat completely dry before putting it back on. So that's one thing I'm trying to make sure. So this, you wanna make sure you put it on all parts of the nail so that she can be nice and shiny and you know, you won't miss a spot. Try not to miss any spots. So that did the first 30 seconds. Now I'm going to put the other top coat on like the directions say. Making sure I get every part of Now I can let this one dry a lot longer because now um, I want it to dry. I want it to be dry. So I probably will do two or three sets of 30 seconds for this one so that it can be dry. So these are pretty dry. So now I'm going to do same thing, other hand. So 
those are all done as you can see i am going to make them look cute and then i'll come back um so we can really see like what the whole finished product looks like okay so this is the finished product i put some cuticle oil on it i just wanted to come into the light and show you guys it's a real hot pink it's really cute i like it oh there we go it's really cute i really like it so this is my left hand which means probably it looks better than my right because i'm right-handed um let's see not so shabby so yeah so i put cuticle oil i always do it at the end just to give it that shine clean my cuticles off a bit so yeah this is the set that's how it turned out i do like it it is cute so yeah thank you guys for watching please stay tuned i'm going to try and um do with them again because practice makes perfect right peace